when these Singaporeans are not at work, this is what they do. Turning passions. I just started with one tree, then I had 20 trees, then I had 100 trees. Into side hustles. Are you okay with someone who's bald or someone who has a tattoo? We can do additional modifications, lubricating, force brake mod, tape mod. Do you want to mow below the lid? What are some of Singapore's most unusual side hustles? Here's the tickets to hell. You come just the right time. Alright, and after that you change hand, and you come get that. Don't you hit too hard because it's very light. This is Alexis Lee in her day job. So try to let it hit the back over here, so you'll come back faster. Yeah. She is a gym trainer. She likes to help people. This is Alexis Lee in her side hustle. She is Singapore's only female professional wrestler. She likes to hit people. Or at least she pretends to. In pro wrestling, my career highlight would have been the first in Southeast Asia to have won a title from America and Australia. Eddie Teo is a music composer, arranger and performer. This is Eddie's side hustle. He is a bonsai artist and sells these living works of art. He twists with his pruning clippers. I just started with one tree like this, then I had 10 trees, then I had 20 trees, then I had 100 trees, then I had so many trees that I had to move to a new house. Alexis's interest in wrestling began as a form of escape. Back in high school, I was being bullied for being weird, and that was when I started to watch WWE from YouTube. I really just loved the storylines, the emotions that everyone was like portraying, the good, the bad. I was watching wrestling as a platform to actually like fantasize about revenge on my bullies, you know. That was what got me to decide that I wanted to become a pro wrestler. All of my childhood idol has been from the WWE. Mickey James Triple H. Victoria, oh my gosh, every single one of them. They are some of the biggest names from WWE, or World Wrestling Entertainment to be precise. Alexis harbored a secret dream of following in their footsteps. But there was a slight problem. When I first saw Alexis Lee, this skinny girl, I didn't expect her to stay too long. No! She came on training, sometimes I would just like, you know, like ragdoll her, giving her like scoop slams. Alexis was not only too skinny, she was also not, well, man enough for professional wrestling. At least in Singapore. You see, there are no female wrestlers here. First time I trained, I was the only girl there, as I am most of the time now. <laughs> I did my first bum too that night. A bum is one of the basics for pro wrestling. It's when we take a fall. Safely and loudly. My whole body was like, I want to quit. But Alexis didn't quit. After nine years, she not only mastered the bump, she could also execute the body slam and suplex. And a cross-body dive off the top rope. At the beginning, there would be all sorts of really sexist comments, you know. I was told that I needed to get a book job in order to make it. And I did think about if I wanted to ever do a book job. 
but then at the same time, I don't want to change myself just to fit the more of what people think. Everyone keep making fun of me for being too skinny. You know what, I'm gonna turn it into my thing to be the skeleton that gets speed up all the time but it's never gonna give up. Alexis was slowly making a new name for herself by wrestling internationally. But not much money. For my side hustle, uh, I make about $100 to maybe a bit more per match. I make extras from selling t-shirts, stickers. But the merchandise only brings in an extra $150 or so per fight for Alexis. One of the challenges was the support from the locals. People would think, hey, you know, uh, why do pro wrestling? And asking like, you know, can pro wrestling pay the bills? Why would you want to put your body through so much pain? So injuries have sustained in nine years of wrestling. Dislocated my jaw. Hurt my collarbone here too. And obviously hurt both my knees. Put both my wrists in a match. Landed on the concrete, hit the side of my face. Put both my ankles. Alexis has managed to remain injury-free for the last six months. And she needs to keep it that way. Because in a week's time, she will be taking part in one of the biggest matches of her life. It's going to be a triple threat match with Mei Suruga and the current reigning Queen of Asia, Riho, for her Queen of Asia title. Alexis has fought for the Queen of Asia title four times. She lost all four times. She really wants to win it so she can impress international talent scouts from Japan and the US. Eddie, on the other hand, faces Japanese trees rather than Japanese wrestlers. Bonsai is the art of cultivating miniature trees in pots. They are normal plants, but sophisticated techniques are used to keep them tiny. Just like most Singaporeans, we all love Japanese culture and we all travel to Japan as much as we can. And during one of these trips, uh, we chanced upon a little store in Tokyo selling miniature bonsai. And me and my family walked in and we were intrigued by how it was formed and the amount of work, the creativity needed to create a little bonsai. So when we came back, um, I spent lots of time browsing through the internet and from there I fell in love. The trees are styled through bending, pruning, and wiring. What I really like is you have the ability to curate a bonsai to your liking. There are many different types of, of raw material. There are materials for the beginners, really young, maybe about five years old. Raw material in Japan can cost anywhere between you know, $50 to, to, to $10,000. It really depends on the quality, the age and the size. The really good pieces are only sold to experienced uh, bonsai artists. After I buy the material from Japan, uh, we will ship it to Singapore and I will usually wait a while for a week or two, make sure it's, it's stable and I'll work on it. I'll look at the bonsai and it will just strike me that it needs to be done this way or that way. We try to bend it enough that it's not giving it too much of a stress. There isn't a fixed rule where you can bend this and not that. It really depends on your artistry. That's how it becomes your signature piece. So I'm going to leave the wire there for about six to nine months. And once the tree grows a little bit more, it will stay there and I will remove the wire. In the bonsai business, originality is critical. Every piece must be unique. Bonsai is a live tree. It's constantly growing and you constantly need to keep it in shape. So it's a lifetime project. In 2017, um, I have too many bonsai in my house. So I needed to get rid of some to make space for more bonsai. 
and naturally everybody goes to Carousel. The first piece that I saw was $120. It's a young Japanese maple. Eddie has since sold more than 2,000 bonsai trees over five years. The most expensive bonsai I've sold to date is probably a 250 years old Japanese Shimbaku. It costs about $40,000 Sing dollars. And the ending? And then the last effect? When he's not shaping bonsai trees, go, 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 go. this experienced creative director is shaping concepts. In bonsai, I create the structure of the bonsai, whereas as a creative director for a concert like this, I'm creating the structure of the entire concert. My job is to create the music, styling of the music, styling of the artist, the content and the lightings. But structuring the tree is only one part of a side hustle. Hey Peter, hi. Yes, you have some issue with your trees. Boom, hit the knee, switch leg, boom. Left leg, just... Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, it's done. This job, as a gym instructor, has been helping me pay for my wrestling expenses, everything. Ah! It's just a week until the big fight. It's gonna be hard to beat her. Alexis will be thrown into the ring with two wrestlers, Mei Suruga and Riho. The winner will walk away with the prestigious Queen of Asia title. I train about two hours a day. Riho, it's not going to be easy to beat. So I got to think of some ways to really take her out. Trying to win the crowd over, which is a near impossible task when you're up against two of the cutest little girls you can find in the world. In the damn ring against me? Oh my god, how am I supposed to fight against that? I intend on throwing my shoulders into her ribs, breaking her body into two, with the most devastating move known to anyone the spear. I don't want to leave with any regrets. I just want to know that I tried. And that to me is the most important thing. For Alexis, being the Queen of Asia is more than just a title. It's an opportunity to make it internationally. She needs to impress the bigger promotions in the US and Japan. At 27, close to the retirement age for women wrestlers, she may not get this chance again. Eddie is welcoming members of the Singapore bonsai community to his home. He holds these free sessions once every few months for his customers and enthusiasts to pick up tree tips. This tree is a very old kuromatsu, probably about 100 years old now. In Singapore, black pine is probably the easiest Japanese bonsai to keep. The only issue with black pine is that there's a lot of rain in Singapore, and the only thing that black pine doesn't like is water. It was growing really wildly, and it was too wet, and the needles were turning yellow. So I just decanted it a month ago, and there's already a lot of new growth popping up. I think what I've done for the community is telling everybody bonsai is an art form it's meant for everybody. There's a big community. Um, I have a chat group of about 500 people. They are all my bonsai customers. It's a very lucrative business for the heart and not for the pocket because I really have a lot of fun with it. Hey Peter, hi. Yes. You have some issue with your trees? Eddie has another nickname. Ah, the same one? 
the bonsai doctor. Once I'm done here, I'll just come straight over to you. His job is not just to sell them, but to save them. And now, one of his customers' trees is in serious distress. Alexis is hours away from the biggest moment of her professional life. She's about to fight for the Queen of Asia title, a title she's lost four times. I'm ready. I got things out my sleeve, so we'll see what happens later. Alexis knows that a convincing performance could take her side hustle into the big time in Japan or the United States. I start off prepping half of my face, the human side of things. And then the other side would be the skeleton side. So the half skeleton is to show that I'm half dead. No matter how many times I get bit down, I'm not going to die. This right here, this little sparkle, is for all the glistening cameras going around with the one. Show them, I am the star. match for the Queen of Asia Championship. Both of these women focus their attack on Alexis Lee. It's Riho and Alexis Lee. Avoid a collision, crossbody by catch. It's caught by the team of Riho. Short alliance there. Shoulder block takes down, crossbody, splash, double pin, but both whipping out the athleticism of these two. Twisting the hair and whipping, but no, Riho able to cartwheel out of that. It's time for Alexis's signature move, the spear. There's Alexis Lee, oh, comes in with the spear. Riho has been knocked out. One more opponent. May Suruga is standing between Alexis and the championship belt. Double knee to the back! I'm going to my customer's house, Peter, a very good hobbyist. One of his trees is not doing too well. I feel responsible for all the trees that I sell to all my customers. It's always painful to see a good tree just dry up or neglected. Hi, good to see How you, are you again. How are you? Very good, very good. About six months ago, yeah. this plant was all green and bushy. Then in the last two months, suddenly they dried up. So I'm a bit worried. This tree is still healthy, but the lower branch is really weak. This has got to do with watering issue, because the apex is always the strongest part of the tree, and it will take out all the energy. So what we usually do is that we will trim it down, 
and to transfer the energy all the way down to support all these lower branch. I think if I don't show up, it will slowly deteriorate and probably will last another five months and eventually you have to get rid of it. All these aftercare services that I've done over the last five years, I've never once charged any customer for it because this is the part that I enjoy the most. Eddie gets very upset uh -huh. when the customer don't take care of the plant and it dies. He wishes that the customer calls him earlier before the plant dies so that he can revive it, you see? Thank you, Peter. That's very true. Yeah. Mason got off the ropes. Goes for it. Alexis Lee catches it and drives her down onto the mat. Could this be it? Alexis Lee, leg hurt. Could this be it? And there we have it. We have a new Queen of Asia champion in Alexis Lee. around the world. This is for the little girl.